Hey guys, this is Dan Wolak with Coal Cracker Bushcraft. Today I wanted to share with everybody how to set up a plow point tarp configuration in an open field. So a freestanding plow point tarp configuration. I had a few people ask me about this. And if you follow me on social media, you see recently I had I did a couple demos and I was at Fort Frederick. Actually earlier today I was at Fort Frederick. I got back and I wanted to do this video to show people how to do this freestanding plow point just because uh, maybe you're somewhere at a camp or you're at a reenactment and you want to set up a tarp shelter and you're not really sure how. So it's very simple. You're going to need a couple things. First, you're going to need some guidelines. Um, I just have some sisal twine here for that to keep it traditional looking. You're going to need two straight sticks and these are seven foot. You're going to need your tarp and our tarp is a 10 by 10 tarp. So if you're going with an eight by eight, which a lot of people carry, take six inches off your um, posts here. So again, two uprights that are straight and they're lashed together and then a Y branch. And this is about six foot long. I have a deer antler on here just so we can hang some stuff around camp. And um, that's really all you need. So let me back the camera up a little bit and I'll show you how quick we can set the shelter up. So the first thing you want to do is my Y branch, I have somewhat pointed. It doesn't have to be super, super sharp. I just pointed that off. You're going to pick your spot where you want to do this, and you're going to just drive this down into the dirt a little bit. So you just want to get that in there. Nothing fancy to it at all. The next thing you want to do is take one of your guidelines, and I have a bowline knot at this end, which I'm going to drop over one of my Y and then on this end, I have a taunt line hitch right here. So that's the style knot you'd want to use. At that point, I'm going to take a tent peg. I'm going to go out. If I know I want my tarp to come straight back, I'm going to go out about 45 degrees with this one from center. Bring that out and just lightly stick that in for now. Same thing. I'm going to take my second line again. I have these pre-made, but you have a bowline on one side and then a loop on the other side with a taunt line hitch. I'm going to drive that down and I'm going to take this out at a 45 degree angle also. Okay, so that's in now and you can see it's a little uh, shaky there, but that's okay initially. So what I want to do is I want to open up my tarp at this point. Make sure I have the correct side up because we want that center loop up, which is that way. We're going to take a toggle or you can take a tent peg. So I have a toggle here. I'm just going to put that right through one of the tie out points and stick that through the middle. Now what I want to do is I want to take this back straight back like this, pull some tension on this and stake this back point out. And that's going to start to create some tension all around. Again, you don't want to pull extra hard and have your shelter start to fall apart. So you got to play with this a little bit. I'm going to take that my hatchet and hammer this back stake in. to get that set. Now I can go back and I can start to level this out by hammering them stakes in a little bit more on each side and then tightening up these knots. So I'm tightening both sides out at this point. Again, I'm using these tensioning knots to create tension on this and pull that tight. Just working back and forth to get it even and laying the way I want it to lay. And then I'm going to take two more pegs 
and I'm going to stake out the sides. Again, keeping everything nice and taut and tight. Okay, so what I wanna do now at this point is take my two uprights that are lashed and have them handy. I'm gonna use another tent peg and it's the same setup. So I have my bowline knot that's gonna feed through my middle seam, my middle tie out point, toggle this off with the tent peg. And then of course, I have a taunt line hitch, again as a knot with the loop. So how I'm gonna set this up then, is I'm just going to set this off to the side, open this up, all right? It's creating an X at that point. And I can take this over the top. I'm gonna stake this back side out, and then I can create tension, hence lifting up that center point of that shelter. So I'm gonna take my last tent peg, bring it back. And set it in. So what this does is raises the center of that shelter, giving you more room inside to work. It's not laying down so much. So this is the shelter. Now, of course, like I said earlier, this is a 10 by 10, so it's quite big. You can fit three men in here. It's a little bit tight, two men super comfortably, one person, more than enough room for yourself and a lot of equipment. So it's an easy setup. One thing you need to remember though, is if ultimately you're out trekking or doing some type of scout, you'd wanna get in some type of wooded area to set this up, because it's a lot easier, a lot quicker to do a plow point that way. But if you're at a reenactment or you're at a state park and you just don't have availability of trees, which I've seen that at state park campsites already, this could be a good option if you wanna go and still sleep under a tarp. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a quick and easy setup. Get out and try it and see if you like it. If you haven't already, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. Also at coldcrackerbushcraft.com. And of course, always have fun with this. And until the next one, stay in the woods, guys.